What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and I'm here today with the review for Ready to Love Season 4 Episode 8 and the episode is titled The X Factor Alright you guys, so I'm trying to get myself together just a little bit because I just looked at my YouTube app and somehow there's been a purge now on one of my channels it's only I've only lost eight subscribers it's not a big deal to me I can get those back and then my watch hours those decrease as well but on my other two channels it's saying that it done wiped out all of my subscribers on that channel so if you guys um are not already subscribed to this channel do me a solid favor before we get into this video hit that subscribe button you guys please 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 hit that subscribe button like this is bogus to me like I it's just irritable like I've been thinking about creating a patreon but I don't want to do that I, I really don't I don't feel like anybody should pay for the content that I do it's free um but yeah do me that favor you guys please just hit that subscribe button if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel um yeah you guys without with that being said let's go ahead and get into the episode review shall we all right you guys so the episode so this week it is the ladies week to eliminate a guy so the ladies this time instead of meeting in the ladies lounge they are actually going to nephew tommy's house to meet him and his wife now in this episode nephew tommy wants to, since the ladies met you know which i think is hella interesting the ladies met the men's friends but now nephew tommy wants the ladies to meet wants the men to meet the ladies exes if i were the ladies i would have told tommy to go to hell go straight to hell why would i want to introduce my ex to my current person that i'm talking to like no i don't care how the when when i'm when i'm when we're when we're done we're done like and ain't no ifs ands or buts about it. like what well, we need to sit down for why do you need to meet the new person that i'm dating no go away with that go away roger go home roger like no like you ain't gonna meet my ex the fudge no 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 not gonna happen so yeah that's what it is the ladies are supposed to meet introduce the exes to the currents Again, I would have told Tommy, go straight to hell in the handbasket. Because I'm not doing it. But let's move on. Ooh, nah. I wasn't thinking that. One thinking he was trans, but I did get you, get right. Oh, somebody just tweeted me. Because I was tweeting about the episode. Well, you guys know I live tweet. So I was tweeting about the episode. And I was tweeting about Amber and her ex-boyfriend. We're going to discuss him. So, in this episode, the ladies are meeting with nephew Tommy. You guys know that the ladies this week is their week to send one of the men home. They could stand us in two home, but we'll talk about that later as well. So, um, um, where am I at? Alexis, fly trap, fly swatter. Girl, you looks like somebody's satin curtain. I mean, you look like something satin. You look like a satin pillowcase, a satin curtain, satin sheets. You look like satin with them, and then them ruffles is just like, girl, what you got on? I don't know where she shops at. She should not stop. She should stop shopping there. And where would she buy her wigs at? So, like I said, the ladies instead of them meeting at the ladies' lounge, they're meeting with Tommy and his wife. So, in this episode, Tommy wants the ladies. Remember last week's episode, the ladies were introduced to friends of um, the men, right? Well, nephew Tommy, he decided to throw a big monkey wrench in this one and say, "I want you ladies <coughs> to introduce the guys to an ex." I would have told Tommy in no in certain words, go to hell. Why would I want to introduce him? Like, why would I do that? That is not counterproductive. That is not, con what am I? You're an ex. What do I need your opinion for? Why do I need your opinion on this person that I'm dating currently? Why do I need my ex? And why do I need you, my current person, to meet this person and ask them any kind of questions? How do I know that you ain't going to say some, 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 some terrible stuff about me? Absolutely not. I would have told Tommy go straight to hell with that one. Go to hell. But let's move on and let's move on, you guys. All right. So, so the first two that we got was Vernicia with her ex David. They're meeting Joel, and then we got Flosswater 
and her ex Joseph mean Ron. So um, Joseph is Flytrap's ex boyfriend before her ex husband. Okay, cool. I didn't feel I, I didn't figure that her ex husband was coming on there. So so Joseph says he could see the chemistry between Flyswatter and Ron immediately when he came in the door. Okay, maybe you see something I didn't see. Whatever. So then Joseph asks Ron, how does he handle, how would he handle the argument? And Ron says he, he, he argues much like a guy. And I was confused. I'm like, what does that mean? How does the guy argue? How does a guy argue? I mean, when you get into an argument, all sense of logic goes out. I mean, when most people, all sense of logic goes out of your head. I know people try to say I can be level headed in an argument. You get heated. We all get heated. We're humans. So I don't know what he meant by that whole he argues like a guy. Dude, that means you talk down to the woman. Does that mean you try to be condescending to her? We'll get back. we'll get to that. We will get to that. So um so then we see David. So David asked Joel, is he a jealous type? I don't know if you guys caught this, but I definitely caught it. Joel said no that he's not the jealous type. But then he said to Vernicia, but you are. He whispered it on his breath. I don't know if y'all heard that. Let me know if you heard it. But he, he whispered on his breath. So then Joel says, let me ask you a question, my brother. Is she the clingy type? And what's his name? David says no, that she's not the clingy type. So then we find out that Joel has a little bit of a communication issue. So I guess Joel and Vernicia was supposed to go out to eat one night. And, you know, she had been texting him. And I guess he was busy, so he said he would let her. He would reach out to her later, you know, later on. So later on came, and he never reached back out to her. And she was hungry, and she got hangry. And he's talking about, you know, when he didn't text back, that should have let her know plans had changed. Absolutely not. Don't do that. That's tacky. Like if plans change that's fine you can text me you can text me you can call me you can email me you can send a carrier pigeon and be like hey hey jb you know man i'm so sorry like you know ran a little late at work or you know the kids need the kids got sick something tell me anything i don't give a damn if it's a lie let me know something so that way because if i'm sitting here thinking hey we are still going out to dinner and then nothing comes from you then I'm like oh so you ghosted me and I'm gonna be pissed off at you so I'm on Bernicia's side and even um David was on Bernicia's side so I don't know where Joel was coming from with that but nah how am how I'm not and I, like Bernicia said I can't read your mind so how am I supposed to know that plans change you didn't text me or let me know so yeah buddy that's on you so then we see later Bernicia. So Bernicia has all the ladies and they go to a nail bar and fly trap. She showed up to the, the she showed up there looking like a whole ass disco ball. I'm like, girl, where do you shop at in Houston? You got to shop. I don't, you know, no, I mean, you cannot shop at Galleria. You can't. Girl, you got to be shopping on the side of the road gotta be <clears throat> so Vernicia asked the ladies have they learned anything about themselves with this experience because she has and she said that she learned that she has more emotions than she knew and Kyra's was like well you're a woman okay whatever that means I mean not all women I, I mean I know some women that are not that emotional but you know whatever okay so then Flytrap says that she doesn't believe that you know um Kyra is ready to let AJ go and she says no she's not so then Liz says that she likes baby teeth I'm like oh so you do like baby teeth you know what at this point baby teeth would be a better option than psycho he he really would so here's the thing that confused me Kyra said that she likes psycho I'm like really since when when did that happen when did that happen psycho no. Let's move on. Speaking of Michael Myers, let's talk about him. Liz went out on a so Liz is on a Liz is introducing us to her ex Clarence. I was confused with this whole situation with Liz. 
ain't Liz one of them ones that was single for um X amount of years? Hadn't Liz been single since like 2004 or 2005? Where does X come from? Now, I don't mean to be... Sh uh, like, is this one of the exes from back in the day? Or is this like somebody that you had a relationship with, but you soon figured out, hey, we're better off as friends? Uh, I don't know. But I thought she was single for years, but whatever. So Liz is expressing her concerns about David. So that's why she has him there so that he can, you know... Fill David out and let her know. Girl, I can tell you how I feel. I can tell you that about David. I've been saying it since day one. David needs therapy. There's something mentally wrong with David. So we find out that, you guys remember, last week David introduced Liz to his friends. What we did not know was that when the cameras were rolling, he was one way. But when the cameras went down, he was a different way. So in front of his friends, he mentioned that um, Liz went out had went out earlier with um, Jason and he asked her, did she kiss Jason? That was rude as fuck. She told you that thinking, I'm assuming Liz told David that just to, you know, clear, clear the air, you know, so that way that if things got serious with them and he saw it on television, he wouldn't be blindsided. I'm assuming that's what her, her, her thought process was. I don't want to blindside. I like this man. I don't want to blindside him. So let me just be upfront with him and let him know, hey, me and Jason kissed, which technically Jason kissed her on the lips, baby teeth. He kissed her on the lips. But for him to bring that up in front of her, his friends and that was their first time meeting her, that wasn't a good look. And then David shows up. The mood went downhill from there again like i said david needs to go see a, a psychiatrist psychiatrist a psychologist a mental health he, he needs something there's something wrong with david he is territorial he is jealous and i definitely see that and now going back to that episode that um stacy was on you guys remember i told you stacy had tweeted me that same episode and told me that production cut some stuff out that they had a longer conversation and that he did ask for all that stuff you know about the phone number the, the passwords and all that stuff run liz run for the borders so then clarence was about to ask him a question right well david took one step further and flipped it and asked clarence a question y'all like how i'm i'm just moving i'm trying to make myself feel better about my numbers on youtube but it is what it is Clarence he so he flipped a he flipped it on Clarence and asked Clarence when was the last time that he and Liz were intimate what they got to do with you I just really want to know what that has to do with you oh my god yeah David is he's needy David is needy he's jealous he's territorial he's insecure the list of things can go on with David I mean the list of things can go on with David and I was just like um I would suggest for both of y'all to get up from this table and leave him there looking like the, like ever much the fool that he is. And then Liz was like, you know, there was a, a there's a bit of a disconnect with me, with you. And it happened when we met your friends. So then David, I mean, David tries to use word jargon. He, he tries to just do, it was word vomit. Because every, because I didn't know, I didn't even understand what David was talking about when he was talking to Liz. I had no idea what the hell he was talking about. So I tuned him out. Keeping it real, tuned him out because I didn't know what he was talking about. But he eventually got up and left. Confusion. Listen, all right, you guys. Next, let's talk about Kyra and, and Baby T. So Kyra has Baby T to meet on her ex-boyfriend, Timothy. Now, they did a Skype-like thing with Timothy. So I'm, I'm either going to assume Timothy either has COVID or he's in a different state. He might be in. A, I'm. 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 I'm gonna assume one of those two, different straight or he has COVID. I, I'm not wishing COVID on him, but I'm just saying because it was kind of odd that he wasn't in person with them. Let's just go with he lives in a different state. Let's just go with that one. Let's go with that one. They live in a different state. So meanwhile, Amber is introducing her ex. His name is. What's his name? What was her ex's name? Tony. All right. 
So yeah, Kyra and Baby Teeth mean Kenneth, Timothy, sorry, and Baby and, um, Amber and um, Tony are meeting with Chris. Now, when I looked at Amber and um, Tony, I was like, y'all kind of look like brother and sister. Y'all look alike. Y'all kind of look alike. I'm like, yeah, y'all look alike. Yeah, I look alike. So, um, Timothy asked Jason how long has he been single. Jason says he's been single for about a year and a half. And then Timothy asked Jason, is he looking for a wife? He says, yes. So then, um, I don't know if he asked, to, I don't know how this question, how it came up, but Timothy said that Kyra is the type that she doesn't let things go. We know that. She ain't let go of the shit with AJ. So then we see move over to Chris and Amber. So um, Tony asked Chris, does he want to have kids? He says, yes, he wants to have five. He said between three to five. Now Amber's face looked like she didn't want to, Amber's face looked like that ain't how many kids she wants. When it comes down to Amber, I don't know if Amber is trying to, I don't know if Amber is settling because Amber just seems like, she, you know, whatever Chris says, she's okay with it. Like when Chris said that he didn't want to get married, she said she didn't want to get married. But then remember, she asked Joel about marriage. So I'm confused. And then with this, now now I know she said she want, I, I went with the kids. I got that. She, I get that she wants kids, but I don't know if she wants that many kids. But whatever. So Chris, uh, actually, let's go back over to Kyra. So Jason, Baby Teeth asked um, Timothy, how is Kyra with money? Now, this is what threw me for a loop. When he said that she is not good at managing money, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? So she ain't good at managing money and neither is AJ. Girl, y'all are not a perfect match for each other. We can't have two, we can't have one broke person and then one person is just not good with money. I was about to say two broke people, but she's a lawyer, so she's not broke. We can't have one person that's just not great with managing money, and then we have the broke person on the other side. Because the broke person is gonna take the person who's take the person who's not good with their money and spend it, and then she ain't gonna pay no attention to it until they realize it until you realize that you're both are broke as hell. So yeah, you and AJ are not equally yoked. Keeping it real with you. So Chris picked up on a vibe with Amber. And like I said, all I was seeing was brother and sister. But I did pick up on the. I did pick up on something when Chris came into the restaurant and her her, her ex stood up. I didn't want. I was gonna tweet it, but I was like, "Oh, Twitter's gonna eat me alive if I say what I think." I'm, if I say this, I'm like, "Twitter's gonna eat me alive." But they eventually see. Here we go. There goes somebody that just subscribed to the channel. Okay, YouTube is gonna piss me off today. <laughs> YouTube is going to get on my nerves. Okay. So, yeah, I was going to tweet it because I actually did catch the vibe. I saw when he stood up. I'm like, oh, I think Amber's ex is gay. And he, she said he came out to her. I'm like, oh, so I was correct. But like I said, I didn't want to tweet it because I didn't want anybody saying, oh, you being homophobic. I'm like, no, I just, you know, I don't want to. I didn't want to have to defend it. But I, I'm saying it now. I did definitely catch the vibe that he was gay. Um, nothing's wrong with that. Let's move on. All right, you guys. Next up, let's talk about AJ. Let's talk about Flytrap. Let's talk about Baby Teeth. And let's talk about Liz. So those four went on a double date with each other. Flytrap, you and them boots. Once again, let's just burn Flytrap's closet. Burn her closet. Burn her wigs. Burn these people that's above me. Jesus Christ, be a fence. Um... So now Baby Teeth, he's talking about the fact that he's confused about Kyra. I'm like, really? But he really likes Liz. I'm like, you a, a lot don't care who tell it. You do not like Liz. You like Liz's, you like Liz's breast. That's what you like. Because if Liz covers her body up, Baby Teeth won't even know who Liz is. If you say, oh, Baby Teeth, there go Liz, and she's covered up, who is Liz? Baby Teeth, the girl that you like. I don't know who that is. Why don't you know who she is? The Liz that I know doesn't dress like that. Oh, you mean her titties not out? Okay, baby teeth. Like that would be baby teeth. You would have to say to baby teeth, oh, cause she's covered up. You don't know who she is, baby teeth. 
Miss me with the bullshit, baby teeth. Fly trap, fly trap, fly trap, fly trap. Fly trap is, is stupid. I don't know what it is with fly swatter. Fly trap just sits here and talking about how she feels that AJ, she's scared that AJ will hurt her. I'm like, fly swatter. He paid you dust in one episode. He did not like the fact that you were so sexual, but here he is playing kids. So he, he, he kissed fly swatter. I'm like, fly trap, you are dumb. I really almost felt bad for fly swatter. But you know what? Fly Trap is going to get, you know, if Fly Trap wants to be with AJ, let Fly Swatter be with AJ. I know I keep switching it. I keep doing it on purpose, you guys. I'm doing it on purpose. Yeah, if Fly Swatter want to be with him, let Fly Trap be with him. I just don't get it. Like, Fly Swatter don't see it. Like, it's every elimination where it's the women, AJ gets closer to, he's, we all know he likes Kyra. But when it comes to an elimination, AJ is like, you know what? Let me get close to, I'm, I'm, I'm already good with Kyra. I'm good with Kyra. But let me get closer to Flyswatter. So that way, when they go into deliberation, Kyra and Flytrap can have my back. I don't get how Flyswatter don't see it. Like, I don't get how Flytrap just does not see that. He's manipulating the hell out of you, girl. But you know what? If Flyswatter like it, I like it. I love it too. You go ahead and save him, Flyswatter. I mean, it's the, if that's what she wants, Flytrap and AJ sitting in the tree. Go ahead and get manipulated. All right, so um, we see the ladies. They show up to um, Nephew Tommy's and his wife's house once again. I really just want somebody to go and burn Flytrap's closet and that wig she had on. Oh, my God. Floss water just looks a hot country mess and I'm country that's coming from a country person she looks a hot country mess I don't know what the hell it was she had on but she looked a mess so the ladies are telling Tommy and his wife about their dates Bernicia tells the you know them about her date with Joel and her ex and how he asked if she was clingy but her ex said that she wasn't um who else spoke let me grab, I'm going to grab my remote real quick, guys, so I can just rewind it back just to make sure I got it. Um, Liz, Liz was talking about her and um, David's date. Girl, that was just, just a, for just basically, they don't know how to sit down. Like, it just, it irritates me. I can't sit in my bedroom. I can't sit in my living room. I can't sit in my studio in peace without hearing these people run across like it's no peace in any room i can't even go in the bath i can't even take a shower and not hear them that's how bad it is you can't take a shower i can't use the bathroom in peace you know sometimes i wish i was white i really don't i'm just saying that in the sense of skin color if i would call the police I wouldn't have to worry about them fucking with me. That's what I mean, you guys. Um. So yeah, let's just. So yeah, Liz could have said her day was a day from hell. Basically, she could have said that was just a day from hell. Um, Alexis talked about her date with Ron, and so Alexis. So I called her by her name, Flyswatter. She has the issue with the fact that David is, not David, but Ron is not someone who's religious. I wonder if she has an issue. I wonder if Flytrap has the issue with the fact that he doesn't go to church, but he also did say he doesn't pray. He's going to go out there and get it, whatever that means. Um, so they got a choice to make. So then we end the episode with Flytrap meeting with Ron and with David meeting with Liz. So Flyswatter is trying to talk to Ron. Ron was very rude and very condescending to her. I did not like the way he talked. You know what? Well, All right, you guys, I don't even know what the hell we were talking about. We were at the end of the episode. I was talking about Ron. He was rude. He was condescending to Alexis. Like talking about she can't do nothing for him. That was what pissed me off. That was the shit that, that was what pissed me off with Ron. And then with David, David was over talking Liz. He wouldn't let Liz get a word in edgewise. And actually that's, 
where the episode ended. So we'll pick up with it next week, right there. They can send both of them home for all I give a crap. They, I mean, Ron was rude and condescending, and David was overbearing. But yeah, you guys, that's the episode. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else and share this video, you guys. And until the next one, stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands, wear your mask or not. Be safe and be blessed and protect your peace and your energy. Protect yourself. Protect it. Stay in your, protect your bubble. Protect yourself. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Um, I'll be in. Actually, I'm getting ready to pack up so I can go to Houston tomorrow and hang out with my cousin. So, see you guys later. Bye.